Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2019 tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to create and save your own filter. So if you're looking to make an Instagram filter, for example, and you want to apply this to all of your images instead of using the ones that are pre-built that come with whatever social network you're using, guys, this is how you do it. It's awesome. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you got this figured out, you can do it. Why would I do something like this? Simple. If you're if you work in marketing and you're trying to and you you know you've got your own brand and your brand has its own unique color set, this is one way to do it. So without further ado, let's get right into this. I've got a picture loaded up here. This is just a standard picture. I downloaded it, stock image, free to use, and it's got a grill here, like you can see. The next step here is I'm gonna make sure I'm clicked onto my layer. And now let's start building the filter and then once it's done, then I'll show you how to save it, which is the most important part. So I'm going to create an adjustment layer. I'm going to left click on this little half circle down here. And I'm going to go ahead and you guys can do whatever you want. I'm just going to show you a demonstration so I can show you the technique. What it looks like doesn't really, really matter all that much in this situation. So let's just go quickly and make a random filter. I'm going to make curves adjustment and we're going to work on the RGB. I'm going to Darken this part, okay, yeah, we're going to darken the, the shadows, we're going to maybe increase the highlights a bit, no, that looks bad. Uh, yeah, this is increase the highlights, again, this is arbitrary stuff, because that's because we want to go ahead and um, save it, and, and I'm going to show you how to do that next. So the next step here is I'm going to create another adjustment layer, why not, and in this one, I'm going to go ahead and work on doot, 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 photo filter, just because this is a really, really quick way to add some changes in here. This is the warming filter, by the way. Uh, there's all these different filters here that you can always uh, experiment with. But uh, let's just see what we got here. Warming filter, 85. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I'm going to put that up to, like, say, 30%. And then, you know what, just because I want to make it a little bit more fancy, I'm going to add another adjustment layer. And in this one, I am going to add... Uh, do -do 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 color balance and I kind of want to work on the highlights and I'm going to add in a little bit more of a red tint just because that's what we're going for so okay so this is you know this is the kind of thing that you would see in a filter now quickly before I show you the next step I'm going to turn all of these adjustments layers off this was the beginning this is the end so again not super fancy but that's not the point now the next step and this is where it gets really really interesting is I want to save this. This is a filter and I want to apply this to all my images or to a bunch of my images. Okay, what do we do next? Well, the next step is to go to File. You want to go to Export and this is a color lookup table. We're going to export this as a color lookup table. Now, this is the name of the image. This isn't a very good description, so I'm going to call this red... Um, I'm going to call this Curtis Red tint whatever you know what call it whatever you want and then I'm gonna hit OK it's gonna ask me where I want to save it and before I hit OK do note that I am saving it as these four different formats although I believe 3DL is currently the most commonly used I'm gonna hit OK I'm going to put it in my uh, custom filters and it changed the name on me so Curtis red tint let's call it that just for demonstration purposes and I'm going to hit save Awesome, we're on our way. So it's uh, it uses a fair bit of horsepower. But anyway, so we've got that filter. We've saved it to our desktop. Now let's see how this would work in real life. So I've got another image loaded up here. And this is a cat having its first birthday. Hello, kitty kitty. Um, what do you do? Well, to add this, and this can be to any image, it's one step really. It's really, really simple. You go to the adjustment layers again. This time you go to color lookup. And in color lookup, and this part's actually funny because it doesn't really, it's not intuitive in my opinion. You'll see here that when you click this drop down, it's, we're looking for the color lookup table that we just created. And that's what it's called when you save that. Um, it's not really a filter, it's a color lookup table. <laughs> if you want to get super uh, technical, it's not in here though. So where is it? That's the thing. You actually have to click and left click on the check mark load 3D LUT. Um, which stands for lookup table. It is very strange because this doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but you have to left click over here. And when you do that, you're going to see here that I can load in C Curtis Red Tint 
CSP, CUBE, and 3DL. I'm going to do 3DL, then I'm going to left click open, and then watch. Bang! It's applied that lookup table, or that filter if you want to call it that, or that color lookup, whatever you want to call it, guys. This is how you create your own unique set of filters or filter, and that's it. We do it in Photoshop. Again, when we go back to the first image here, I'll close that up. Do keep in mind that you guys can go nuts, so do whatever you want. You want to make it darker, you want to make it brighter, you want to add in red tint, blue tint, purple tint, whatever your filter is, do that using these adjustment layers and the various features in Photoshop. And once you got it, just like I showed you, that's how you save it, that's how you lock and load, guys. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I got a ton more stuff coming. Talk to you soon.